thanks for joining me this evening. I am going to do a Chig's Choice tonight, and we're going to talk about the Thru-Night TN36 flashlight. Uh, as you guys know, Thru-Night is a channel sponsor of mine. They have been sending me flashlights on and off over the last year or two to use in my videos, whether it's caving videos or exploring old houses and camping videos and whatnot. And they make really good, high-quality flashlights. About six months ago, I asked them if they had a, any type of flashlight that would um, throw a wide beam and really light up a room. And the reason I wanted this was for my caving videos, because of course, you know, in caves, it's very, very dark. And, you know, it's you want to get a lot of light to make a decent video. And they sent me one of these. This is like their top of the line uh, searchlight, flutter light, which throws a wide beam. It's not like a pinpoint, um, spotlight like in uh, the other my some of my camping videos so I got one right here let me show it to you you've seen this in a lot of my videos this is uh, the TN I think it's a 40 I guess I should have looked <laughs> uh, TN 40 yeah this is the TN 40 which is a spotlight incredibly powerful I've done a lot of videos with this one when, when I've been camping uh, but it's a spotlight you know so it's a focused beam and what I wanted was something through a wide beam. So they sent me this uh, 36, TN36, and I've had it like for six months now. I've used it in a couple caving videos, I've used it on some of my camping trips, but I need to talk about it because I, you know, one of my fans asked me about it the other day, and this is just a perfect opportunity, especially with Christmas coming up, to tell you a little bit about this and show you how it works. And uh, well, it's a great flashlight. It's expensive, I'm gonna warn you. It's kind of expensive. <laughs> But it's the best flashlight. This is the best flashlight I have ever used. Bar none. I like it better than this one. This is a great flashlight. Very powerful focus beam for long distance looking. But this thing just lights up your life. I mean, it is just incredible. And you're going to see that because we're going to go outside when I'm done here. Let's go ahead and just talk about the flashlight. I'm going to give you some of the technical uh, details of it. I actually have the sheet of paper right here. I didn't sit down and memorize it. Uh, but last time I did a video and I talked about uh, that flashlight, uh, so I didn't talk, I didn't do this. And you guys got upset, so I'm going to just give you some some of the uh, some of the technical jargon first. We're going to look at the parts that you get and how it's put together and how it's made, and then we are going to go outside and it's going to be awesome. I mean, you you're going to be amazed. I am every time I turn it on. Okay, maximum output when it's in the turbo mode is 10,000 lumens. What does that mean? I don't really know. All I know is when I go out and I turn this thing on, it's incredibly bright, and that's what's important. And that's what you're going to see. Um, I'm, I'll run through the functions and how you how you uh, get to those in just a minute. Let me just go ahead and read through this list real quick because you know I'm going to get confused, and this stuff really doesn't mean a whole lot to me. Again, I just know when I turn it on what I see. It says it adopts three advanced Cree XP70 LEDs. Okay, if you look in there, you can see those three little. Um, LEDs, and that's guess, I guess that's what it's talking about. Uh, okay, it has a thermal protection, and it does get hot when you have it on turbo. If you leave it on turbo for a long time, it gets very warm. Now, I've seen complaints online where they say that it turns off a lot. I've never had it turn off uh, when I've been using it, caving or even just walking around. That's a thermal overload protection. I think I did read somewhere too where there were some they were they were thinking that. They might have been using inferior batteries. Whoever had their flashlight they bought cheap batteries, and that could have caused a problem. This comes with some powerful batteries that I'm going to show you. All right, what else do they say about this? Has a strobe that's 7,000 lumens, turbos 10,000, Firefly you know two lumens for 28 days, uh, maximum beam dis maximum beam distance 319 meters. You know who knows, but I'm going to show you. <laughs> And something that's kind of interesting, this is actually waterproof to two meters. And I really didn't think about that when, as I've been using this. And this, I think this is as well. Um, yeah, so you don't have to worry about it getting wet when you're camping, you know, getting rain on it or, you know, dropping it in the water puddle or anything at night. Uh, it's waterproof and it's got O-rings and stuff. And I'm going to talk to you and show you those as well. And it comes with extra O-rings. It's heavy, small, but it's heavy. Uh, I'm not going to go through the dimensions because you can see it in my hand here. <laughs> Accessories, what does it come with? It comes with a holster, a spare O-ring, which I don't have right now. It's over in the box, but I'll show you what they look like. A lanyard, which I don't have on this one. It's on this one here. I have one on here, but 
I, I prefer not to have the lanyard on this because it fits easier in my pocket. And uh, when I'm having the holster in the caves and whatnot, it's just a little bit easier for me not to have it. Probably should though. And it comes with uh, battery chargers and stuff. And I'll show you that when you come on over here. Okay. Let me uh, just talk, I'll show you how to use this and how easy it is to use. But I'm going to just kind of go through this list, okay? On off, there's a button right here. If you push the button and just hold it in, that goes into the firefly mode. And that's that little weak mode that if you just want to, you know, go around camp and not wake everybody up. And basically what you do is you just hold the button in for a long hold like that. And that should be a firefly. And I'll show you that outside. And to turn it off, you just hold it again. If you want to go into just the normal modes on this flashlight, same button, you just push a normal push, just one quick push. And that'll bring you into a mode where uh, you can go from high intensity to low intensity. And if, if you hold the button in, it goes up and down. You just let the button out wherever you want it, and it'll stay at that intensity. Turn it off, and you turn it back on again, it'll be at that intensity. So that's kind of a neat feature. And to do that, you just one push of the button, okay? It's kind of bright, but that's how I had it set the last time I used it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hold the button in, and you'll see it kind of cycling. And uh, I'll do this outside where it's more evident, but watch this. Hold the button in. It'll get dimmer now. Dim, dim, dim. I'll do a little strobey thing normally. There's a little strobe. And it'll get brighter again. And it'll just keep going up and down like that. And I'll let go of the button, and it'll stay at that setting. Turn it off. Next time I turn it on, one quick push, it'll be at that setting, okay? So if I had it at the low setting, it would come on low. Strobe setting, it would come on as a strobe. Okay, so we're just going to turn that off. Now, this is where the fun begins. And this is what is just really, really awesome. And if you can afford this flashlight as a gift, you know, to your husband or wife or kids, one thing about kids in this life is very powerful. You shine it in your eyes like this and it's going to hurt. I don't know it's going to cause permanent damage, uh, but just see even catching a little bit in your eyes, it makes little wonky stars and stuff. So if you get this for your kid, just be careful. Um, but anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, the fun. In order to get to turbo mode, you double tap the trigger. Just tap, tap like that. And it goes into turbo automatically. So it's super bright and it's super easy to get to if you need it for an emergency. Double tap. That's the turbo mode. I'm not going to point it directly at the light because I don't want to burn out my camera. Uh, that's all there is to it. And if you want to go into the uh, strobe mode at this point, and you, and you might want to strobe if you were on like on a rescue mission or something, you really needed to get somebody's attention, or if you wanted to uh, use it to make someone who was coming at you be, you know, not be able to figure out what's going on, you can do the strobe. But in order to do the strobe at this point, you just tap it twice again. It's pretty freaky, huh? Okay. Now we're off. If I hit it again, it's gonna go back to the original setting in that normal mode, which I had it on like semi-bright. <laughs> there we go. All right, so that's the basic settings. I'm gonna show you outside what it actually looks like. Why am I recommending this flashlight? I'm gonna tell you. I mean, I like it for my caving videos, okay? And, and setting it up and it, floods the room with light and makes it really great for pictures and whatnot. And it's just a lot of fun to go outside and walk at night with it. But it's also a great, I hate to use this word, weapon, offensive weapon. Not just as a club or a rock, but if you're out camping, say you're out with your family and you're in a tent and you hear a noise out in the bushes, whether it's somebody talking that shouldn't be there or, you know, the snuffles of a bear or something. Uh, if you came out with this and turned it on with that double tap, that turbo mode like this, and you shined it in their eyes, whether it's a person or an animal, they're going to be blind for a little while. So if it's a person, you can get away from them. Um, and if it's a bunch of people, you can get away from them because everyone is going to be going like this, and it's just going to see stars for a while. So that's why I say you got to be really careful around kids with this thing. You don't want to give it to your little kids because, um, well, I don't think it's going to cause permanent damage, but I don't know. Enough of that stuff. Let's talk about the good stuff, the happy stuff. Just a lot of fun. Uh, why don't you come on over here? We'll take a look at the inside. I'll show you the O rings and the batteries and the chargers, and then we'll run outside and, you know, have the fun. That's the fun part, it really is. You're going to like it. Okay, so we're going to do this really quick, but I just want to show you basically what it comes with, okay? This is, again, this is the flashlight right here. It comes with this really nice battery charger, and, uh, 
I'll show you a little bit more about that when we get the batteries out. You have the holster, you have extra O-ring. Uh, we It comes with a lanyard, but uh, I don't have it on there, but I, I'm assuming it's similar to this one. Oh, there's an O-ring right there. It's an extra O-ring that goes to this flashlight, the other one, uh, but it comes with an o you know, extra O-ring or two as well. Uh, let me show you what it looks like on the inside and how you take this apart. Again, this is the battery charger. It just plugs right into your wall. No fuss, no muss. It has, this thing has four really powerful, heavy batteries. Okay, this comes apart just like that. Nice and easy. You don't have to mess with any of this stuff. And these are the batteries. 3100 MAH, whatever that is. I guess I probably should have studied up a little bit more on this, but you know, this is just for you guys. This is not an advertisement in any way. All right, batteries come out. You just have to take them out. It's got a little spring right here. So first one's a little bit difficult to get out, but once you get them out, you just kind of pop them out like that. And again, this is, uh, I've been using this for about six months, so it's getting a little bit ratty. You set that to the side. Got your batteries here. This is your positive as uh, always. It says positive right there and the flat's negative. And if you look here, this is positive and negative. So you just slide this in just like that. You do the same thing to all four. And unfortunately, I did not bring an extension cord over here. So I'll have to go get one, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I ripped that a little bit too. Um, all right, so it's, that's all you do to charge it and then you plug it in. I'm gonna grab an extension cord so you can see it because it has all kinds of neat little fun numbers there to look at. So just hold on a second, okay. All right, I went ahead and got this thing plugged in and you can see that the batteries are charging. See the little lights are going up like that. Uh, they change, it cycles through and it tells you some different things. I just know that when all four bars are up there and it quits flashing, that they're fully charged. Again, this is the inside of the flashlight. Really, really heavy. And uh, the batteries right here. Oh, the O-ring, let me show you the O-ring. Right here's the O-ring. And you wanna make sure that's in place and that it has a little bit of lubrication on it so that it stays waterproof. And that's all there is to it, it's really quite simple. These batteries are really heavy though. All right, I'm gonna let that go ahead and charge up a little bit and we'll go outside. And before I forget completely, because I did forget to talk about this, um, again, these uh, Through Night is a channel sponsor. They are not paying me to talk about their flashlight. They do provide me with flashlights for my videos. I am going to provide to you a link to their website with a code, okay? And this code, I think, is good for 20% off, at least through Christmas. I don't get anything out of that, okay? That's just, that's just their deal. I'm also going to provide an Amazon link where you can go directly to Amazon and buy it if you want. I don't know if the code works over there, but you can check that. Now, I'll use an Amazon affiliate link for that. It has nothing to do with through night though, but that's the link I'll provide you for that so you can check it out over there. And they have a lot of comments on Amazon about it too. Um, yeah, that's about it, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna, I have some more videos coming up. I wanna make sure that you guys know that for some thoughts for Christmas gifts. I have one book that a friend of mine wrote that is by far, by far the best relic book uh, you can ever own. And I'm gonna talk about that within the next few days. So stay tuned for that. All right, what do you say? Wanna go outside and play? I do. Let's go. Okay, so we're out in the woods. It is kind of chilly tonight and it's like well after midnight, way past my bedtime. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how this thing worked when it was nice and quiet and dark. All right, now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna run through the different settings on this flashlight and kind of shine it around so you can see what it looks like. And then we're gonna go for a little walk. Now, right now I'm filming myself with the firefly mode. I shouldn't have not looked at it, but I did. And look at the different modes. We'll go for a walk in the woods and hopefully we won't run into any Sam squanches. It's awfully quiet out here. So this is the firefly mode. This is the mode that you would want to use like if you were in camp. And we got into that mode by just one long push on the button, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and I'm gonna just do a normal push on the button and you'll see what happens, okay? So hold on, it's off, normal push. Okay, now this is what we call, or what I call, just the normal mode, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to hold the button down, and it will cycle through from 
not too bright to pretty bright. So I'm gonna hold the button down. See, it's gonna get dimmer. Brighter, brighter, brighter. Ah, it's pretty bright. There's your strobe setting again. And it'll get dimmer, dimmer, dimmer. What you wanna do is you just wanna let the button off just like I did when you get to the setting that you wanna use for the night or for whatever you're doing. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do next. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the double tap on the button. This is where this flashlight really shines, okay? <laughs> no, well, maybe pun intended. Um, and it goes into that turbo mode. And that turbo mode is just super, super bright. And you'll see how it just lights up everything. And if you're on the receiving end of that light being shined in your eyes, like I'm doing right now with myself, in the firefly mode, it would blind you. It would, well, not permanently, but you wouldn't be able to see for quite a while at night. And if you shine it in the eyes of an animal or some other person that's you know, bothering your campsite, they're not going to be able to do anything to you because they won't be able to see for a while. So it's really impressive. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to go out of the firefly mode with a single click, and then I'm going to do a double tap. Are you ready? Single click, double tap. Look at that. That's incredible. Again, this is the flutter light. So it just, I mean, it just, I just an explosion of light. Light up in the trees. And the neat thing about this is, is again, it's a flutter light. So it's, it's throwing light way to the sides. You know, it's not just a focus beam like the spotlight, like a spotlight. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> that's amazing, isn't it? Wow. I guess I need to show you the uh, the uh, strobe setting too, because it's pretty freaky. You know, the strobe setting again. That's like if you have an emergency and you 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 want somebody to be able to see you and know that you have problems. Maybe a rescue helicopter or something. And it's uh, it's a pretty bright <laughs> strobe. And ready? It's pretty freaky. I hope there's no Sam Scranch standing out there when I, when I turn it on again. Now. If you have problems with epilepsy or any like weird seizures, you might not want to watch about the next 15 seconds of this video because it's pretty intense when the strobe goes off. I'm gonna double tap it for the turbo. Tap, tap. Nice and bright. Look at that. There's a sinkhole I'm digging out right here, by the way. And uh, I want to double tap it again for the uh, strobe. Look at that. <laughs> Wow, that's so cool! Isn't it? I guess I should have given more than a, given more than a 15 second warning. <laughs> that's wild. Lose my eyes. I guess I shouldn't be walking today, especially when the sinkholes and sand squanches around here and uh, falling down trees. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm kind of an idiot sometimes. Sorry about that. Okay, so what we're going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and put in the uh, the turbo mode. We'll just take a, a little bit of a walk around here, see if we can see some animals or something. There's a power lines down here we're near the river, so I'm not going to walk until I, I, I shine it in front of me, though. All right, you ready? It's a big overhead power lines uh, that run behind my house. If you take a fluorescent light out here, it will actually glow in the dark. It's kind of weird. Let's walk down here a little ways. I'm just, I'm just really, really, I'm just so surprised at how bright this thing is. I just love it. And it's perfect for my caving videos. These are all paths that are on my property. So I'm just going to walk up the path here a little ways. There's another clearing up here that I made um, in the cedar bushes. And we'll kind of sneak up there kind of a little bit more quietly than, I, than we have been so far. And turn on the light and see if there's anything out there. Not really expecting it because... I think they probably heard us out here a long time ago because it's really quiet tonight. This is a clearing uh, that I keep open. I'm actually cutting down a few cedar trees. I'm going to expand it a little bit, part of my forestry program that I'm in. I don't see any animals, but I don't blame them for not being out here right now. I'd be snuggled up sleeping too. All right, let me set the tripod up here. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to set the tripod up right here. And I'm gonna to go to the other side of that clearing and uh, shine the light and uh, maybe turn it off and then get a little bit closer and shine the light on the, uh, at the camera again so you can get an idea. I'm hoping I don't ruin my camera. 
camera. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so I have the camera on the tripod. I'm gonna walk over to the bushes there. That's about 30 yards away. And then I'm gonna shine the light at the camera. So hold your eyes. This is what the regular mode looks like with the flashlight. I'm gonna let it cycle through the different, uh, the different intensities. I had no idea what that looked like to you guys, but I bet it was pretty cool. That was a fun little walk. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, we're gonna go up here uh, next to the house and then we'll turn the light on really bright again and kind of take a quick peek at the house. Hopefully we won't wake the dogs up. My wife's sleeping, because like I said, it's pretty late, but uh, we'll see what's up there. Might be some critters. I feed raccoons and uh, possums and we've got a bunch of stray cats that uh, we've been kind of taking care of, so let's go see. There's that bee box. I don't see anything out there. There's my wood pile that I'm getting together for next year. Basement light is on. Don't hear the dogs barking. That's a good sign. We're going to try to sneak back in the house without waking everybody up. Wish me luck. We'll see you again soon.